Hey girls, it's Katie. So summer is in a full swing, as you know, and those booties and buns and abs are out all the time and you want them looking good. I know you do, because I know I do. So we're gonna do a bar boot camp workout today that is all about the booty and the abs to help tone and tighten it up. So if you did the VidCon workout, one of my HIT workouts, you know that the HIT is all about like getting crazy sweat on, burning tons of calories, and just overall fat loss. Those are awesome. If you haven't tried it, check it out right there. Also, you need to build those muscles underneath so when you lose any of that extra fat, you have something popping out. So to help tone and tighten up all those little hard to get areas like the thighs and the booty and the abs, we're gonna do this bar workout and it really will help create all those little muscles. And it's gonna burn pretty bad, but I know you can do it. You're gonna do it awesome. Even though it's burning really bad, it's so good because it's really gentle on your joints. So if you have any injuries or you just don't want that full out intense jump in workout, this is a great workout for you. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the only thing you need for this workout is a wall <laughs> and then either a chair or a kitchen countertop or table. Anything will work that has like height, about hip height or a little bit higher is totally fine. So that's all you need, but you know I always like to take it up a level. So I'll show you some equipment you can add in if you have it at home just to make it a little bit harder, tone a little bit more, but it's totally optional. So for the first move, if you have a band at home, like this one, all you're gonna wanna do is bring it around your ankles to add a little more resistance, just like that. So if you have it at home, Throw it on right now. If not, let's go ahead and get started. Left hand's gonna start on the countertop. And like any bar workout, the number one thing you need to do is make sure you have good posture because it is all about elongating your body, creating better posture. So crown of the head reaches toward the sky, tailbone tucks under, belly button comes in toward the spine, nice and engaged, right? All right, so right hand on the hip, right toes in front. We're gonna tap to the front, to the side, to the back, and then squeeze that booty to lift the leg up. So really tighten that right glute. Ready, we have eight of these. Front, side, back, lift. Front, side, back, and up. Good, are you starting to feel that booty work? And lift. Three more. On this one, hold it up behind you, hold, and squeeze it up, squeeze, squeeze. Keep that belly tight. Good, little exhales as you squeeze. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, yes, four, three, two, just hold it up and squeeze for four, three, two, and one. Okay, let it go. Shake it off, good. All right, now we're gonna go on to the floor. So this one is really good if you have a kitchen countertop. It sounds really weird, but <laughs> Scoot yourself up against the wall or the cupboard underneath the counter, and you're gonna wanna use it to push in. So when we have a bar in class, I have the girls press into that bar as hard as they can because it really does help engage the lower core, those lower abdominals. If you do not have something you can push into, that's okay. You're still gonna get an awesome workout. So come onto the floor. You might have to scoot your booty just a little bit off the wall. Posture stays tall here. It's easy to wanna like curl in. Don't do it. So. Nice and tall, belly in, push your hands into the floor to help create that long spine, and lift the feet off the ground. You should already be like, oh Katie, this is really hard. It is, you're gonna feel those hip flexors start to engage. So holding the feet off the ground, we're gonna alternate right foot, left foot, right and left. Holy moly, I know, it hurts. Right, left, right and left. You're also gonna feel the quads on this one, so you start to get a little cramp, which is very common, Take a break and then pick it right back up. Right, left, eight more. Eight, seven, keep smiling. Five, or four, three, two, don't go anywhere. Hold it, lift it up. Whew. Up, up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Yes, you can. And hold, hold, feet together. Eight, seven, six, this is it. For four. Three, two, and let it go. Oh my gosh. I know, it looks so simple. It's not, it's really hard. All right, let's go ahead and stand back up for our last move. So this is where you need that chair or countertop again. You wanna find a flat back. So spine is long. Again, same posture when we're standing, crown of the head to the elbow. Nice and long. Hands placed on the mat, tiny bend in that left leg. Right leg is gonna come up to hip height. Toe is poking toward the ceiling. 
You should already feel your hamstring and your booty engage. This is gonna help lift that booty up off the thigh. Nice lifted, ready. So you're just gonna poke up and bring it down, knees meet. Up and down, lift and lower for eight, seven, six, keep breathing, five, four, three, yes, for two, hold up on one, hold up, you know we love to pulse, lift up, 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 pulse it up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold, adding on for some core, tap the spine, bringing the knee in toward the nose, and then extend that hip and heel toward the sky again. Ready? In and out. Now as you do this, we have a tendency to over arch our back. So you don't want to like try to touch your head with your toe. Just bring it up, keeping those hips slightly tucked. In and back. In and back for eight. Inhale, exhale, seven. Six. Five. Lift it up. Four, you should feel that left standing leg working here too. Last two, pull the knee into the nose and pulse it in. Eight, seven, six, five, squeeze. Four, three, two, and one. Ooh, shake out those legs. Let it go. Take a breath. Exhale it out. Now we have a left side. All right, so finish up on that left side. And if you really want an extra little push, maybe do both sides twice, ha huh, ha. Huh. And I was thinking about it, I think something that would pair awesome with this to just like give you a killer workout would be the Bark Boot Camp Booty Burn right there. So if you haven't checked it out, go do this. Let me know too, if you do both workouts, comment below and tell me how your buns are feeling because I'm guessing they're gonna be burning afterwards. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Oh, don't forget, I want to see your sweaty selfies. So on Instagram at love sweat fitness, hashtag love sweat fitness, post those, let me see them, or just on Snapchat. So follow me there at love sweat and fit and send me those sweaty selfies because I don't think anything makes me happier than seeing those after you've done the workout. I will see you all next week for another awesome workout. Don't forget, good things come to those who sweat. Bye.